Your pets are always in good hands with Dr. Jimmy Yu of Newberg's UVet, and today he's here with guidance about an important problem for your pet, and that's limping. Good morning. Good morning, Angie. So when we see our pets limping, what does that indicate to us? Well, uh, it could be various. I mean, most of we know, you know, if they got a cut, you know, or they had infection, they pull pads, sometimes they're nail bad, and they will limp. But they are a lot of more things could cause that. So, some actually, some puppy or kitty, they are born with, you know, congenital problem, like their kneecap, they are loose, we call it patella subluxation, or German Shepherd will have hip dysplasia or some, you know, retrievers, and some has actually elbow issues, you know, and when some, you know, they get older, they also could get some kind of arthritis, you know, or tumor, you know, nothing like that. But about more, it could be uh, allergy, or sometimes it's, it could be they, their paws stuck into something, or even a tick bone disease, diabetes, Cushing syndrome, or their disc problem, or sometimes it could be middle ear infection or nutrition problem, or obesity could all cause this. So it's not, there's no simple answer to this. Well, when we notice that we are seeing some lameness in our pets, what should we do next? Uh, definitely, first, it's going to, you need to contact your veterinary office. And also, if you could take a video, show video, maybe like, you know, 10, 20 seconds, what happened when you see that. It's going to help, help us, you know, during the appointment, kind of look for specific things. Usually, you know, I want to know how many legs involved first. And because I'm not only a vet at that time, but also a detective. Try to help your pets out. What sort of tests do you use to, to make your diagnosis? Well, it also depends on the clinical sign, you know, the video you take, and after the thorough examination, and also the history you provide us, I, you know, usually start with maybe blood work, or sometimes I need to check if I suspect there's a tick by history before I run a tick, you know, panel, or sometimes ready, of course, ready graph of affected limbs, you know, or sometimes if a, even an ultrasound of soft tissues, you know, and I usually like to, you know, swab the ear if I suspect ear issue, or use magnifying lens like this, you know, I'll put it on and let you see. And just remember, when your pets are limping, I'll be not only their vet, but I'll be their detective too. I love that. Be a you kind of are a detective all the time anyway. Dr. you tell us about the myuvet.com. Yes, we have a website that provides a lot of information in our service we do, things like that. And also, of course, you know, how we uh, provide the best care for your pets. So check it out. There's a lot of information on there. Also, if you worry about if you have in-house plant, we notice a lot of dogs or cat or puppy, kitty, they like to chew on in-house plant and they are toxic. So you could go through that list from our website and find it. Check it out. Dr. Jimmy Yu, always great information for pet lovers and pet owners. Good to see you. Good to see you. Bye. Take care. We'll be back with more Lifestyles after this. Please stay with us.